All right. All right. So I was having an interesting conversation with a student. She just finished her January exams 2018 and I asked her how the exam was and she was like, so the exam was real easy. The multiple choice was real easy, but the um, paper too was tricky. And I was like, oh, that was an exam you should have took advantage of because that's the last time the exam is going to come like that. The exam is going to be different in June. And she was like, different? How is the exam going to be different? And I told her, that's the, um, the exam in June. For example, all the questions are going to be compulsory. You won't have a choice. And she was like, whoa. Um, couldn't believe what I said, right? And a few students, well, um, this is not the first time I encountered this problem. A few students will have no idea of the changes that are going to come in that June exam. So if you are one of them and you don't know that there are some changes based on what you are doing in your past papers, I'm hope you are do I hope you are doing a lot of past papers right now. And if you are doing a lot of pa past papers right now, more power to you. But some things in the past papers would not be exactly structured the same way as in the exam you're going to face in June. So if you're one of those students who want to know about that, keep watching this video. I'm going to elaborate. Well, maybe not elaborate, but go through the points, at least the major points that you need to know in, the, um, in your syllabus, in your maths exam syllabus that will change. Let's get right into it. Point number one, SBA. Everyone knows about the SBA because everybody hates the SBA. Everybody hates the SBA. Um, I only get complaints about the SBA. All right, but... The SBA is not something you should hate because it's 20% and I consider it free marks. The SBA is a chance for you to score between 18 and 20% of your final marks. Paper 1 is going to contribute 30%. Paper 2 is going to contribute 50%. So the SBA contributes 20% to make up the 100%. And you should, get, you should score highly in that. So maybe I'll do a separate video to address the concerns. A lot of people calling me, Kerwin, I need some help in my SBA. Um, so I need some help in my SBA. So um, I'll, I'll have to do a video on that. It's a whole topic on what the SBA requires, um, especially maybe the statistics part and some using a sample SBA. All right, let's not stay on SBA. Number two, this is what I really wanted to make the video for. As I said, all questions are going to be compulsory in paper two. Okay, what I said, all questions are compulsory in paper two. What does that mean? Previously, the exam... Paper 2 exam, the structured question, was split into two sections. Section 1, section 2, section 1 consisted of eight questions. Section 2 had three questions. Pick two questions out of those three topics, which top, the topics were relations, functions, and graph, trigonometry and geometry, matrices and vec vectors and matrices, right? So, um, and you pick two of those topics. So what people will do is forget about studying a topic. A lot of people pick vectors and matrices to not study or trigonometry and geometry, relations, function, graph, whatever. They don't study one of the three topics. That is not so anymore. You need to study everything because all the questions in that exam is going to be compulsory. Compulsory meaning you have to do it, right? If you leave it out, you leave out your marks. So that's a key change. That leads me to the next point, number three. Sets, questions, and sets in the structured exam has been booted out. There's no question and sets in the structured exam. No major question and sets, right? So what does that mean? Why is that? Because the exam now has been boiled down to 10 questions from the 11 previously because you had a choice, so it's boiled down to 10 questions. So somebody has to take one for the team in the previous section one, and that's the sets question and sets it out. But don't get too happy because sets is still in paper one. You still need to know everything that the syllabus um, stipulates in terms of sets. So you still need to study sets, but don't study fate in terms of destructed question and you're going through your sets in your past paper and you're ready for sets and boom you don't see it in the exam right so remember that sets question is up let's go into the next next point number four vectors and matrices is now like is now like salt salt it is in everything vectors and matrices has been reintroduced into paper one and you already know now that it's compulsory in paper two so there's no getting away from vectors and matrices you have to study that. And I'm planning to do a video on vectors and matrices. And any other topic you want help in, just write it in the comments. And I will strongly consider, especially if I see a lot of comments on it, doing a video on that. Right? So, vectors and matrices is now in everything. Pay attention to that. There's no getting away from that. Let's go on to the next point. Number five. Number five is a little subtle change. And I'm pretty sure a lot, 
a very few people picked up on this. The exam is still now two hours and 40 minutes. That's the structured exam we're talking about, right? It is still now two hours and 40 minutes, but the exam has, is only 100 marks. It's only 100 marks in the exam. It used to be 120. What does that mean? It means you have more time to get a mark. More time to get a mark. 1.6 minutes, I think, per mark. You, previously, it was 1.3. So you may, ha you may find it easier to complete this exam, um, although because you are, it may be harder to get a mark. Let me just make it simple like that. It'll be harder to get a mark in this exam. But you have more time to get the mark. So kind of balances out itself, but you should know about that, right? Um, two more points. We're going up to seven. Number six, statistics. Right, so let me tell you a story. Um, uh, one of my students came up to me to check their SBA, lesson students, extra classes, tuition, mentorship, and they came up, he came up with his SBA and I ran it through and everything was looking perfect and I saw in his analysis some stuff on statistics, finding the average of group data, um, standard deviation, and I asked him about it and he was like, he didn't know anything about, anything about it and it was perfect, yeah, it was perfect in his SBA and he didn't know anything about it. So, that's a problem. Why is that a problem? Because the exam is now focusing back on statistics. You need to understand statistics for this exam, right? So, get your act together where statistics is concerned. Go back and learn average of group data. Don't only learn mean, mode, and median, and feel you right. Yeah, I'm ready for statistics. Things I read. No, you will get shocked. There's going to be a question on statistics that's going to test you on the full depth of statistics in the syllabus. So go through that. And I'll do a, I'll do a video on statistics sometime in the future, right? My plan is to probably produce at least two videos or maybe one or two videos per week. Write in the comments which topics are giving you a problem and I'll get at it. All right, so let's look at the final change, number seven. Final change that you need to be um, aware of is there has been a focus in the exam on definitions. So if you look at your syllabus and you turn down to the end, you'll see a glossary and there's definitions of a whole set of topics. That topic, that, um, that, that part of the syllabus on the, in the glossary, you need to focus on that because those definitions, they plan on introducing that to you in the paper one, paper two, and questions will test your knowledge on the actual terms. They don't want you to just brush past the terms in mathematics anymore. Um, you need to know things like what Pythagoras theorem really means, what um, terms, specific terms in math, uh, have an idea of the definition. So I would advise you to go into the glossary. I'll leave a link, the official CXC link, for the brand new syllabus, which I'm sure you would have read through a few times already. I'll leave a link for it for you to go through and check through the glossary. You can go back through the stuff, but I already condensed everything for you, and these are the major changes. Be sure to share this video with your friends who are doing maths and need to um, understand. They're doing their past papers, they're going through their past papers, and they're studying their work, but they need to understand that there are some changes that are coming in the exam, right? So share this video with your friends. Uh, press the like button if it has helped you. Subscribe to the channel. Write in the comments if you want to top some topics dealt with and I'll get to it as soon as possible. So good luck in the exams coming up. Good luck in your school, work and everything. I'm Cohen Springer. Thanks for joining. This is like my first or second video I'm doing here. So um, I hope everything works well in the editing and that um, the video comes across to you nicely. See you.